Okay, so I'm in the car with Connor and Mariah, my siblings. You, I want y'all to be in it too. Okay. Okay. Wait. You can yeah. see Connor. There's Mariah. Connor's back there, and I just got off the phone with somebody, and uh, the wife of one of the football coaches for OU, and he wanted to know like who I was, like so she was telling. She was telling him my story and everything, and he was like, oh my gosh, like, he just, he loved my story, and he wants to meet us, so we all nice. got tickets to be on the field. Hey, let's go! <laughs> yup, yup! So, when we, look at my face. <laughs> Connor, how do you feel? I'm feeling pretty good. So, Connor, pretty tell excited. tell the camera, like, that you went to OU. I, um, I went to OU. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, stop! Connor went to OU, yeah. big OU football like, fans. Yeah, big football guy. Big football guy. Easy, Scotty. Um, but you've never been on the field before, have you? I have not been on She's the field. She's like, I'm years. the wife. I he played football there and yeah, he's Gilbert. the coach and I've never been on the field. She's like, so, so you're getting the us? special treatment. I don't know if Let's she's going go. with us so or not. What's the process now? Yeah, um yeah. so we're gonna go down there. And then we go down, like we'll be on the field like before the game, I think. Okay. Um, get some pictures. Well, we better yeah. get there quick. I know. So we need to drive up there, and then we're gonna meet her, and she's gonna get us the tickets, and then she's gonna show us where to go and everything. Cool. It's going to be such a fun day. I get to see General Booty. <laughs> General Booty, lots of football, lots Woo! of football. Okay, now that I told them that, hi, hey, welcome to the vlog. We, it's just game day it's game day for OU in Texas is playing Alabama right now we're watching it on my sister's phone as we're driving first stop is coffee we're going to Mocha's and Jawas of course and then we're headed to Norman Oklahoma which is the University of Oklahoma boomer sooner okay. and we're going to the football game <laughs> and I'm so excited so yeah we're watching Texas right now our boy Bijan tell them the Texas better win Good Texas. We're we're rooting for Texas and OU today, uh, but we're Texas fans actually. What? Sometimes. The vlog that you're seeing tomorrow is Michaela at Mocha Java being like, "Oh, I want to go to an OU game so bad," and this it's a week year. later, and we're going to an we're going to Mocha Java and the OU game. Crazy. Crazy. All right, so we'll get coffee and we'll talk back soon. Tyler, you're on the TV. So tonight's actually been a hot mess. It's been so fun, but a huge hot mess. 
Um, we somehow didn't bring phone chargers, and my phone's at one, and my phone's at 11, and the camera's in the car, and the car is not here. So, um, we're gonna go to bed, and I'll update you in the morning when I have a little more energy, and, and phone battery, and phone battery, and like a camera. But, oh, you won, woo! Go boomer sooner. There you go. It worked. <laughs> now cross the street. Look both ways. Yes. And you are good. Go, go, go. We're about to go get some coffees with oat milk. I think this way, Mikael. Oh. We're about to get coffee <laughs> with oat milk, obviously. And we're chilling. We're going to post on Instagram this morning, you know. Connor's being a content queen. We might have to do it in the car because our phones aren't charged. I know. Connor brought a charger though. Oh, we brought a charger, yeah. Look, all the doors are different colors. That's so fun. Oh, wait, that's so fun. Yeah. I want Anyways. the lavender door. So only move in. Look, there's a dog in that car. All right, we're going to get coffee. I, I feel good pushing myself in this like, city because that's something... Oklahoma City, you get an A plus for your pavement. Good job. Should I start reviewing cities? Yeah. yeah. We go to different cities and then I review them. Yeah. Well, look at that sign. Let's say. What did you say? Mosaic. Oh, I almost said musty. Okay. Musty. Um. Okay, we're about to walk in. We're, we're going in the coffee shop now. Our coffees. We just went to Willow in Oklahoma City and it was super yummy. We got the Maverick, is that what it's called? Phoenix. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. I don't know why I said Maverick. We got the Phoenix at Willow in Oklahoma City and it was so good. It was just espresso, milk, oat milk, oat milk, and cinnamon. And Connor, what'd you get? You spoke there. I got a cappuccino um, with oat milk. Oot. Was it good? It was good. It was really good. Connor lives here in Oklahoma City, and every time Ryan and I come down here, we love it so much. It's so. Mm, how would you describe the city to someone who's never been? Quiet. Quiet, calm. It's like, you know, some downtowns you're like scared to walk around, like. This place is like, not, not like that. It feels so safe. It feels safe, even though it's like a downtown. Um, and it's just like chill. Like, the people are so nice and just chill. I like it. And it's young, you and it's not it? like no. super expensive. You took it into like Connor downtown Anderson Dallas. House. Like, you know, like a lot of downtowns are more expensive yeah. and like apartments and everything. Um, but OKC okay, is not like that. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, so I think we're going to. FaceTime our papa and tell him all about the football game. He's a big football fan and just talk to him. And we're gonna drive around the city a little bit, listen to music, hang out. And then we're gonna go to... Mashi. To Mashi. They love this place. They've been a bunch, I guess. I've never been, so I'm excited. I go so much. Connor goes so much, she says. Uh, Connor, who are you wearing today? Uh, CD Lamb. CD Lamb. Cowboys. Reached out to Sarah, David's wife, and oh. coming in for the taco. Oh, coming in for the taco. Good job. All right, we're going to Connor's, one of Connor's favorite restaurants. Yep. Tamashi. 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 I can't Rice. remember the name for. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! And we're here in beautiful Oklahoma City. And it's the most perfect weather ever. Seriously, it's the most perfect fall weather. Like wearing shorts in a sweatshirt. <laughs> We just went to dead people stuff in Oklahoma City. 
that's where we are. Obviously, you know that. Um, we just went to Dead People stuff, and it is so cool. That's like me and Connor's thing. Not Dead People stuff, but like old antique stuff. Just like stores, you never know what you're gonna find in there. It's like our thing. Mariah, not so much. It makes her a little anxious. Um, but it was super cool. There's a painting in there that I wanted to get, but they didn't have a price on it, and it looked like it was gonna be super expensive. So, I didn't ask. And then Connor, back here found a cowboy standoff. Is that what it's called? Yeah. A cowboy standoff painting. It was yeah. almost like painted on glass. I don't know. It was super cool. Um, but it was like super high up. It looked super expensive too because it was huge. So Mariah took a picture of it and tell them what you're going to do. I'm going to paint it for her. Literally Mariah can do everything. Um, but that place was super cool. I definitely want to come back. I'm sure they'll have like new stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, it was so cool. Like they had a pink bathtub. And they had so many like cool doors with like mosaic art pieces on them. And I love that. I think that's so cool. But it was like stuff everywhere. But I was able to navigate through it pretty it wasn't too tough. I mean, there was like an upstairs, which obviously I couldn't go in. And then, like, there were some tight squeezes, but, like, it wasn't a big deal. She made it work. We made it work, you know. We make it work. Um, but, yeah. It was so cool. I want to go back. So, our bellies are full. Our energy is high because we had coffee. And we shopped. And now we're going to go back to Connor's apartment. Drop him off. And go back to Dallas. Go pee pee. And go pee. And then go back to Dallas. Yeah. I'm going to be more a support animal right now. We're kind of a little hangry, so I'm going to tell you all the story of what happened at the OU game. First, would you? Yeah. Be hangry. How was that rude? I never said it was rude. I said I'm was um, hangry. Tangry. Tired and angry. Tired. Last time I said no, tired, hungry. And angry. I'm angry. angry. <laughs> Anyways, last last video I said sangry. Yeah, I'm not here. Whatever. Um. Go ahead. So we just got home, well, a few hours ago. But yesterday at the OE, it was freaking amazing. We got to go on the field, as y'all saw, and we sat front row which was insane. So we were on the field for like 45 minutes before the game started and then we got to our seats and the game started probably like 10 minutes after we got to our seats. So kickoff, everything's good. We see about two plays and then I look over at Michaela and she's white. So I'm um, making her drink a whole, like I brought a liquid IV packet. But in no a, color on my a face. A water, like she literally looked like she's about to pass out. I made her chug that. Connor is rubbing ice on her back, like of her neck. I'm rubbing ice on her chest, trying to cool her down. We couldn't cool her down, so I took her up by the concession stand in the shade, and they had a fan. We stood there for probably two minutes, and she just looked like she was about to pass out. So I saw like a medic center um, on the and other side. And I was side. like, uh -uh, not going. And no. I was like, we're going to the <laughs> medic center. Like, I need help. I, I know. couldn't That's so get her to cool down. So we went in there and they had air conditioning in there and they gave her like wet rags. Nobody had bags of ice. I guess they don't have bags. Um, so she had a wet rag on the back of her neck and she cooled down. We sat in there the whole first quarter and it helped. So then she was feeling better. So I'm like, okay, let's go get pizza. So you have food. Let's cath you, so you go to the bath, you go pee. We were just doing everything. We were trying to do everything. Oh. And then there was another fan out by the concession stand. I'm like, let's go sit by that fan while you eat. And like, let's just stay here till halftime and see how you feel. Cause I didn't want her to go back out in the sun and immediately feel terrible again. Um, so then we were sitting by the fan. She was eating her pizza. Connor came um, out cause he was out watching the game. Cause I was like, there's nothing he can do to help. Um, so I let him stay out there and watch the game. And we're sitting by the fan, and Connor went to get back a snow cone. We're eating a snow cone. Anyways, it's well into halftime, and Michaela's feeling back to normal. So we're like, okay, let's like get our things, and let's go back to our seats. And Connor's like, okay, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. I was like, perfect. So when Connor gets back from the bathroom, we're going to go back to our seats and watch the rest of the game because the sun had like gone down. 
Well, as we're standing there, for the, the mm, one minute Connor's gone, literally one minute Connor's gone, there's a concrete wall. Up against the wall is the fan. And then on this side of the wall is escalators and stairs. So it's literally a corner, a fan on this side. We're in the middle. Michaela has her back to the crowd and is facing the fan. I have my back to the wall and the fan and I'm facing the crowd. Well, I see it's halftime, so the concession stand area was packed. Um, I see these two guys kind of like shove each other, like literally like that, like nothing. So I was like, oh, just friends, you know. Um, and then this girl in their friend group came up and shoved the guy towards us and he like fell backwards. And so I was like, um, okay, I don't like this. Well, and where I had drinks in both their hands. Oh yes, I had a snow cone in one hand. I was holding Connor's beer in the other hand while he went to the bathroom. And my chair, the power wheels were off. Power wheels And off. I was locked. She was locked. And I was facing the opposite way. And she had a pizza in her lap, okay? So just painting the picture. So, oh hi, we got a little dog now. Oh! A little boomer scene. A little boomer. Anyways, Scouties on the other side. That tail, it's gonna make noise. Anyways, so then Shh, the girl shuts like, the guy, and I'm like, okay, don't like this, it makes me uncomfortable. Like and so then this random girl literally came sprinting out of nowhere and punched the girl in the face. Like, 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 bah, like, ooh, wow, that, that was, was close. Wow. Okay, like, we almost, we almost got that ourselves. Like, literally punched her in the face. So I'm not angry anymore, just to let you know. Oh, good. Immediately, I'm like, oh my gosh. I was like, Michaela, move, move, move. There's a fight, there's a fight. And I was like, and she's trying to unlock as fast as she can. I'm trying to help her unlock as I have two drinks in my hands, trying to move her just like up against the wall, just out of the way. And I'm not kidding, this fight was like, not far from us at all. Like, three, like we literally had front row seats. Like, there was a circle around the fight. Oh, we were in the front, and it was the fight, us, and a wall. So, like, no really getting out. And there's a fan on this side, the fight's in front of us, and stairs and an escalator on this side. So, we're literally stuck. Corner. Thank goodness this man comes out of nowhere. He is very drunk, but he, like, instantly sobered up. He got Michaela unlocked and helped me move her towards the wall. It was, like, full-on dad mode. Like, like, literally. You could tell, like, because he was kind of standing by us by the fan. Yeah. And, like, I was, so like, mm, like, he's not, like, crazy drunk, like, scared. But I was, like. But, like, he had two beers in his hand, too. Like, he, he, his words were slurred. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. So, I was, like, mm, okay, gonna keep an eye out. But, like, the second the fight started, like. He his, like instantly it was like and like boom was dad like, mode and was like oh, okay here and then so like he helped, moved Michaela moved and like got in front of me and was like that okay so anyways so then it's the wall now Michaela is sideways up against the wall I'm in front of her and this dad is standing right here like with his back towards the fight protecting Michaela and thank goodness he was because the fight moved over and literally. What? He was facing me. Okay, doesn't matter. The fight moved over and shoved in, like pushed into him and he like pushed him out. And he's like leaning on Mikhail, like pushing them away. So if he wasn't there, the fight would have been in Mikhail's lap. She might have got hit. She might have fell out of her chair, literally. Anything oh could have gosh. happened. I would have been so in favor. I would have I would have cried. I would have been so cried. mad if you got hit or anything. People were like screaming, trying to get the fight away from Michaela. I was like, yo, uh, hey, I got nothing to do with this. And I was yeah. like literally panicking. I didn't know what to do. I was like, I can't run away with her because we're literally trapped. So we got her over in the corner. And now me, her, oh, Connor saw like we moved her in the corner and then he saw the whole fight go to where she was we were at yeah, like, like he, it literally he got out of he got out of the bathroom and was like he oh, saw hey it. like there's a fight going on and, and he he's saw like wait where mac was at so he comes sprinting he gets again over, full on dad mode literally. connor got in dad mode he gets over to the corner of us so now Michaela's in the corner me and connor are sitting in front of her watching this fight thankfully the cops showed up then and like we're trying to get under control but it was a bunch of drunk people and this is how the fight went. The cops would like get them calmed down and then out of nowhere they would get up and start fighting again. Like it was just a hot mess. And then they'd like act like they're cooled down and like walk away. So we, and then like sprint and like start punching. I again. was like it was very entertaining. Um, but I was so scared. I wanted to I was like, we have to get out of this corner. Like I can't stand in this corner any longer. Like I was getting really anxious. And but I was like, there's nowhere for us to go because the cops and the fight was literally right in front of us. Yeah, like we're if we were trying, if we would go, like try to get out, I we would have to go through the fight. We'd have to go through the fight, and I'm sure I, the cops would have helped us get out safely. But I, I was we like, just, no, Michaela and Connor were like, no, we need to just stay here. And there was like two dads at this point, like in front of us. Yeah. 
So I, I felt safe. Like, um, it was fine. And then there were cops there too. So. Yeah. I mean, there was a bunch of people, but it was like, oh my gosh. Anyways, it was insane. And I first was like, okay, half, we need to go to our seats. Yeah, first so, half was insane. Then we went out to our seats, and at this point, the score for the OU game was 3 3. Like, literally, and we were playing we missed like nothing. We were like playing a like, small, like Kent State. Yeah. So, um, and then when we got out there, the sun was down, there was a breeze, it felt amazing. Michaela's romper was soaked from her ice cubes, so she got cold very fast, but thankfully she got a sweatshirt. Anyways, we got to watch like the end of the, the score at the end of the game was 30-33, so we got to see lots of touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Both quarters, the uh, cheerleaders were in front of us, so it literally was like we didn't miss a lot, which was good. It definitely made up you for missed, missing the first half, yeah. but it was insane. It was Aww. so fun, and but we didn't tell our mom um, the story she would have freaked out. until we got home tonight because if we would have texted her, but like there was a fight almost on Michaela, she would have. Yeah, she would have freaked out. So we just told our mom in person, and we wanted to see her reaction. But yeah, that was that was our story time. It was so fun. It was so fun. Uh, it was just crazy. We just had to share with them all because. And we got to go like back. Oh yeah, we get to go through, Re like, rewind a little bit. Mm -hmm. We got to go back and see like all the Heisman trophies, a bunch of championship. Rings. Trophies and rings. We got to see they had like a wall of all the jerseys that OU players that played football at OU are now in this NFL. NFL. Almost at Super Bowl. <sighs> are now in the NFL and they like had their jerseys and then like pictures of them. It was super cool. And then we were like back there mm -hmm. and like the football players like were back there. Yeah. Like we got to see a bunch of them. Um, we didn't talk to them because you know they're getting ready for the game. But they were just like walking by, like doing stuff, like not even in their pads or anything. Because um, it was like an hour and a half before the yeah. game. Um, but it was super cool. Got to see their. Um, I don't know if it's like a steam room or what it is. It was like a pool and a hot tub, and it was like all LED lights. It was so cool. But then we're like, oh, we probably shouldn't. Like, we walk them by here. Yeah. Because there are people in there. So we went out onto the field. Um, and we're, we were on the field for a really, really long time. Like, 45 minutes, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, with the recruits. With the recruits. And we had, like, a person staying with us and everything. Got to meet some of the coaches. Came up and talked to us. And um, it was great. Like, it was so cool. And then I got to see the cheer team. They came out. And they are like, Michaela, like hey, I was like, oh hey guys, because um, I'm I've cheered with a bunch of those girls and guys for years, and I've known a lot of them, like the cheer world, you know. If you're in a sport, then you kind of know a lot of the people on the same level as you. Um, and so it was pretty cool to see a lot of old friends and everybody I haven't seen since my accident. And then we went up in our seats, and our seats were the front row, which, as you saw, insane. I was like. Got the VIP treatment, it was insane. And then we saw Caleb, I saw Caleb Kelly a bunch. I like him so much. But I didn't, I didn't wanna, <laughs> I didn't wanna ask for a picture cause he was like there. And he was like d doing his business. And I was like, I'm not asking for a picture. But then he walked, yeah, I didn't wanna bother him. But then he like walked by right in front of us and I was like, hey, what's up bro? He I was did. like, what's up Caleb? And he like smiled and laughed. You like high five them or, yeah. or you have fist bumped him. So, King. King Caleb Kelly, I saw him. Anyways, end the vlog. Anyways, that's basically summing up our trip to Oklahoma City and Norman for the weekend. It's crazy that literally last Saturday, the last vlog that just came out today, because it's Sunday, today, um, I was like, I really want to go to an OU game, like all this stuff, and then all this stuff happened in one week. And we found out we were going on the field uh, the day of the game. Yeah, they saw crazy, our crazy. Um, yeah, you did. Um, so just thank you so much to everybody who like reached out for helping with the tickets and all of that. Y'all are so nice, and we had so much fun. Uh, the next video you see will be my one year, which is insane. Um, it'll definitely be a crazy, crazy video. We have friends and family um, planning the day and it's, it's gonna be special for sure. So 
I'm excited to take y'all along. But until then, I'm just going to go to school and practice and all the fun stuff. So I'll see you in the next video.